Here's your premium post market report for the E-mini and NASDAQ 100 for October 9th, 2013. The NASDAQ got a major downside break today, just uh, in time for exactly what we were speaking with yesterday. Basically, we had a double inside bar pattern here, very tightly coiled wedge. Uh, you can see the upper line, lower line here. We got a downside break through 32, and it unleashed a major, major sell-off right down to the 3150 pivot. 3150 has been a significant line in the chart. You can see right here. It had been major resistance. We broke above it, uh, rallied to highs, and then we recently gave up lows here and dropped right back to it for a retest. This is going to be very, very important. Uh, basically, throughout this uptrend, every the tops of every major breakout point has been retested as support and has led to higher highs along the way so breaking below 3150 will be very significant and would indicate a major move back to 3050 which was prior support and a major significant line in the chart so yesterday's idea there with the inside day and the double inside day worked out gangbusters as a matter of fact if you look at the ADR you can see that today's range was 70.25 points. 70 points was today's range, and it had been averaging 36 points per day. So it basically almost doubled that average on this bar. That was how significant this decline was. Big time move uh, for the E-mini NASDAQ. If we take a look here, uh, you can see that overall, with the color bars here, something that I showed off uh, earlier for the crude oil chart. Basically, uh, we've been bullish above this 55 period pivot based EMA. We're right back to 3150, which coincides with that lower EMA, and that could provide. I mean, we've gotten a big sell off here of 100 straight points down. Uh, you know, basically, how many days is this? For the last five days has been down, straight down big time here, uh, culminating with this big time exhaustive move. This could lead to at least a springboard type of pattern back to 3200. You know, just a quick shot up, and from there, a failure at that level could lead to more weakness. Uh, if it gets back above that level and, and turns this to support, I mean, we're, we're headed to new highs. So this is a very interesting inflection point. You can see that price has been uh, and during a very nice uptrend with higher value pivot range along the way, we're now closed below the bottom of the pivot range for the first time uh, since June. So, I mean, this is this is a big deal here to see how this is uh, going to play out. But right now, the fact that we are pulling back indicates that we could see a very nice um, bounce ahead or a failure would indicate a major continuation down to 3050. But this is the spot right here, 3150 to watch. If we look at a 60-minute chart here, you can see that that coiled up triangle or wedge pattern that I talked about um, before for the NQ worked out with a break through 32 and a confirmation break down below 3195, unleashed the floodgates to the downside. 3150 is now holding major support. Um, in terms of a target to the downside, right now the NASDAQ, has a downside target that I believe has already been reached. The low today was 46.75, and the primary downside target is 43.75. So it came very close, and then 31.08 would be a full range downside target. 31.08. So the fact that we've started October with a major dose of selling here, this could have been a distribution phase. We've already had a big time wave down. Given the highs of October and where we currently are, we're very close to that full range 3108 target. So I would say if price does bounce, that look for a potential lower high opportunity, you know, either at 3180 or 3200, which could lead to another wave down to 3108, or let's call it 3100 ground. So that's what I'll be looking at here. If we continue to hold 3150, and the bulls come charging in and, and push this thing back above 3200 which will be a very difficult feat in my opinion um, that could show the strength of the market and we could get these things going higher you know maybe some news out of Washington might uh, help shape that uh, one way or another but for right now overall spill is down look for continued overall weakness 
if you want to go use a, um, a developing pivot range here, you can see that we have lower value relationship and a pullback to 3180 would be a midpoint top of the pivot range area to sell and that could offer a very nice swing move lower. So that's it for right now. Let's see how this plays out.